Today in art class, we are talking about artwork from Central and South America, and we are going to make un ojo de Dios, which means a God's eye. These are um, supposed to be little blessings whenever you give those to somebody. So these are really fun to make. We're going to just do, use popsicle sticks and yarn to make ours today. Now, you may have learned some other way to start. This is how I know how to start, and my way has no knots, so that makes it really easy. Um, we're going to start with our popsicle sticks, just crossed over like this, and tuck your yarn right under your thumb and I'm gonna wrap this yarn around five times in each direction so five times this way and then five times this way one two three four five and now I'll turn it and go five times this way one two three four five now at this point my sticks got a little bit crooked so I'm just gonna straighten those up try to make sure that it's nice in the middle nice little cross shape just like that and now I'm going to start the pattern of um, of wrapping the yarn around the sticks. Basically all you do is you wrap each stick in order. It doesn't matter which direction you go but you just have to keep going that same way. So it's a pattern and then you never turn it over like this. So as you're wrapping you think about turning it like a steering wheel like this. So you're never turning the whole thing over. Okay? So basically what you do is you wrap it around a stick, you turn it, you wrap it around the next stick, turn it, wrap it, turn it, wrap it, Turn it, and you can even say that as you work if that helps. Wrap it, turn it, wrap it, turn it. I like to make a wrap out of it, wrap it. Okay, but what will happen as you're working is you start to create a diamond shape in there. I'm gonna come way up there. You see how that's making a diamond right around the middle? Okay, you should see that diamond shape coming in there. As you wrap, <laughs> make sure that every time you come all the way out to the edge like this, that will keep a nice flat, um, set of strings. You don't really want this to get too bulky. See, what I mean is you don't want to wrap right across the middle like that because if you do that it starts to puff up and it doesn't look quite as clean. So if you always wrap to the edge it looks really nice. Now pretty soon you'll be going and going and you'll get really fast at this and you will run out of string and you'll have to change your string. So I want to show you what happens if you get to that point. I mean, scissors up here, do I? Would somebody grab me those scissors up there, please? Thank you. All right. So if you run out of string, we are going to just cut a new string and pretend like nothing ever happened. We're just going to keep wrapping. Okay. So this little one that's right here, I'll just kind of tuck it around. Put your new string right on top. And I like to just wrap it once or twice so it holds. See? So it doesn't come off. And then I just keep on wrapping. Wrap it, turn it, wrap it, turn it, wrap it, turn it, and always go into the edge like this. Never across the middle, always to the edge. And see when I get back to that, I'll just wrap right on top of it and it'll hide underneath and you'll never see it ever again. Okay? Now, eventually, you'll finish and you'll get all the way to the edges and you'll be out of string and you have to come up with a way to end it. So what I like to do for this, I used to tie it in all kinds of knots and stuff and it would get really confusing, but then a little girl scout taught me how she learned and I thought, oh, that's a wonderful idea. Basically, you just finish and turn it over to the back and take a pair of scissors and just tuck that string right in on the back side like that. Boom, and that is beautiful and finished just like that. Okay, so there we have un ojo de Dios.